Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, we're back on the 65 Malibu SS here, and we got a real quick video today. Uh, it's kind of a PSA on two-speed windshield wiper motors for the Malibu, the Chevelle, El Camino uh, car. So there, uh, those, the two-speed windshield wiper motors are not available. There's like, I think, one guy out there that rebuilds them and gets them going again. And uh, so it's really expensive, over $400 to have one rebuilt if you have a rebuildable core. So I kind of figured out a way. We are on a budget here. We spent a lot of money on Chrome and other goodies. So uh, we're trying to get the windshield wiper motor working without spending a ton of money. So let's jump over to the bench and I'll show you what I got going on. I got, a, I got one off a different car that matches exactly. So uh, let's go over there and we'll take a look at what we got going on. Okay, here's the two-speed windshield wiper motor. Now, the 65 came with a single speed without washer. So as an option, uh, you could have a, a two-speed with washer function put on the car. And from what I understand, and there's a big debate on this on the 65 guys, um, it didn't come from the factory like that. It came with a single speed, and then the dealer would go ahead and put uh, change the switch, put a wiring pigtail on there, and swap out the uh, the motor and put the washer tank and all that kind of good uh, the good stuff on there. So, uh, and that's neither here nor there, but that that's the history on that. So, um, I I took this uh, took this windshield wiper motor off because uh, we didn't test it before we bought the car. Oh, I didn't want to scratch the windshield or anything, but I got it on the bench and it had some weird things on it. It had some kind of weird relays, several wires on it, and the wire there was a wire coming out of the motor uh, area and it was kind of cut and then spliced back together. It, 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 it something wasn't right. So I bench tested it and I know quite a bit about uh, GM, early model GM cars, so I knew how to hook it up right to make it uh, you know, operate properly. And the, the thing would not park. And I tried and tried and tried, it just would not park. So I figured, well, obviously all this extra wiring and relays, that there, that's the reason. So I, I open it up and uh, right here, uh, that's where the switch goes, the park switch. And then on the gear, there's a arm right here and there's a pole that comes around and it engages that. When you turn the switch to off, it swings around, it grabs the switch, click, opens it, and then the, the motor quits turning. So that's missing, there's wires missing, there's all kinds of stuff missing in here. So it must have broken and they just did whatever they could do to uh, try to keep it operating. So, but that wasn't acceptable. So, you know, we just, oh, we'll just order another one. Well, guess what? There is no two speed, brand new, uh, or even a, a kind of a rebuild where you could, you know, OPGI where you send them a core, you know, buy the other one and core charge it. So um, we couldn't find one. And uh, I did find, I guess there's, uh, there was a couple of guys that rebuild them and I think uh, somebody passed away or there was a death or something. So I think they're just down to one guy that rebuilds them now. And you gotta send in a rebuildable core, I think, to get it rebuilt was over $400. And if you didn't have a rebuildable core, I think it was two or three or $400 uh, more. So you could be out 800 bucks possibly, you know? So that was uh, unacceptable because uh, we're getting into the home stretch here and uh, basically we already uh, shot the budget, you know, and so we need to save as much money as possible. So uh, I thought, well, all I need is the parts to fix this thing. So couldn't find parts, but I started searching around for the exact shape and everything of a GM winter wiper motor. And GM doesn't change things very often. The, the, the outside may change slightly, but the internals really stay the same for a lot of years. So I thought, well, if I find one close to this year, uh, we'll get it. I'll take a look inside. If the parts mic out to the same, I'll just take all the guts out and put it into this one. And that's what we did. So at AutoZone for $94, I found a brand new unit. This is off a of 68 Impala. Um, it's brand new. And this is, this is a 68 Impala. And the reason we went a 68 Impala is because uh, it doesn't have hideaway windshield wipers. Now, uh, sh uh, earlier Chevelles had hideaway windshield wipers because they went underneath the hood, if I'm not mistaken. So this one, the frame matches everything, all the mounts match, everything matches. I even checked the gear size, everything matched. So I talked to the owner. I said, you want me to take the guts out of this one and put it in that one? 
uh, it's going to cost a lot more and you know we're going to have to make this work and he said no i'm fine with just using this one um, he's not going to show this car like a numbers matching car or anything like that so he wants a working functional car that he can enjoy you know and uh, drive around and go to some car shows in so uh, as you can tell the the split th this half is black it's different shape it's a little bit different length uh, which concerned me a little bit and there's some other uh, slightly aesthetic differences but it matches the frame matches the mounts match everything matches uh, and even on this side the arm off this one matches exactly as well so and this is the important part right here now this thing just turns in a circle so it doesn't really matter if it goes a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Uh, it is a two-speed after all. But what matters is the length of this arm right here. So if you've got your original arm, then you're okay if it fits on. And this one fit on perfect, so it's a perfect match. So uh, from a 65 to 68, that did not change. So uh, the windshield wiper uh, washer uh, was shot on this one too. It's, uh, it's got some jacked up parts inside and uh, some of this is pretty worn. So I said, well, uh, let me see if I can get that fixed and we'll get it on here. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't fit. There's a slight, very slight difference in this steel stamp. And I could have probably hammered on it and made it work, uh, but uh, I would have had to redrill some holes and everything else. So I thought, okay, well, let's see how much a new one is. So we, got, we found a new one on Eckler's, several other places carry them. And this is the style where it uses the little knob right here, a pin, and it actually, when you hit the button, it engages that and causes it to pump. Well, we found one on Eckler's. It wasn't too bad, $30, $35. Uh, so we, uh, the owner went ahead and ordered it, and then it showed up, and it was the redesigned style. Um, even though the website, the picture showed the old style, this is the redesigned style. Now you can see there's no guts there. All they did was put a, a little electric water pump inside and just put the terminals back where they were so you could plug it back in. So this one won't pump. It'll set, well, it'll pump, but it won't, uh, you know, oscillate. Uh, or pulsate, excuse me, it'll probably just put a continuous stream out. So uh, I talked to the owner, he's okay with it. Um, so he, you know, he's cool with uh, just putting it on like it is. So that's what we're gonna do. So for $94, uh, and you know, really can't count this because it had needed to be replaced anyways. So for less than $100, we've got a two speed that fits onto the 65 Chevelle and El Camino, so uh, Malibu. So, uh, you know, let's go ahead and get this thing put together and get it on the car. Okay, as you guys can see, it's a very tight fit here. Uh, it's just, I haven't bolted it up. I've got the plate bolted to the firewall. Now, if you had a single speed and you wanted to go to a two speed, I don't see why you couldn't just get the 68 Impala uh, windshield wiper motor but I don't know about this plate, if this is the original plate and then they designed it to fit to it or if this is an actual adapter plate, I have no idea on that. So I've got it plugged in, I've got it uh, shoehorned in here. It is it is a tight fit. I mean, the bracket for the, um, for the hood hinges, it's right here up against it. It's very close to it, it's uh, almost touching. So I mean, this, this is a tight fit. It was a tight fit anyways with all original stuff. So um, I've got the special screws that go in here. So I'm just going to get these in and then uh, we'll finish, make sure it's all working and we'll take, uh, connect the arm and we'll take a look at it. Okay, got it all installed. It's wired up uh, and to test it, um, I'm not done with the wiring on the car yet so I can't energize the system. But what I did was I put power to the downstream side of the fuse. So only, only the windshield wiper is getting power right now. I've got a little clip on there. So, and then I grounded the switch and I grounded uh, to, the, to the chassis. So we should be able to do a test. I've got a stir stick wiper here, wiper arm. So let me, uh, let me flip the switch and see if it works. All right, here we go, low speed. Looks good. High speed, it looks good. Now let's see if it parks. Nice. All right, let's try the uh, wiper pump. <laughs> Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, it's got a timer on that, so uh, you don't have to hold the button in, you just hit it once, and it, it sprays for, what was that, three seconds? 
Yeah, it sprays for about three or four seconds. So, all right, it works. Nice. Okay, one close up shot and we're all done. So you can see how it fits. If that booster was any bigger, it would have interfered with several other things. So if you're gonna put brakes on one of these, nine inch booster only. So you can see it's a super tight fit, but it fit and that's all that matters. Okay guys, that's one more thing off the checklist. I get to scratch uh, wipers off. So uh, all we have to do is mount the tank. We got a brand new uh, reservoir for the wiper uh, pump and uh, run the hoses, get the cow molding back on here and uh, you know we'll be ready to spray some water on this windshield. So uh, 68 Impala, a windshield wiper motor and pump will fit a 65 El Camino or Chevelle as long as you don't have too big a brake booster on here. So uh, this is a good solution and it just goes to show you if you can't find the parts you need, if they're, they're not made for the year car you're at, Take a look at other cars, uh, similar, you know, this is an A body. Look at all the A bodies. If you're driving a G body, look at all the G bodies. They do not change the components that much. They may tweak them a little bit, but you may be able to, you know, Frankenstein something together. Or in this case, we got one right out of the box to fit on this 65 and it's, go, it's supposed to be on a 68. And they're not listed as compatible, you know, and nobody's willing to take that risk, I guess. But uh, it worked on this one and I'm happy and I'm sure John, the owner, would be happy as well. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time we release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.